All right, thank you for joining me in yet another video in which I will be reading a paragraph to you, such as the one located just behind me. Embedded within it are the potential for errors related to grammar, punctuation, syntax, and so forth. So please bear that in mind as you listen to me read. Afterwards, I'm gonna go ahead and step out of frame and ask that you pause the video to make corrections independently uh, so that you and I, when you're ready, can resume and correct together. All right, I'll go ahead and get started by reading the paragraph. <coughs> Excuse me. So opportunity and spirit are scheduled to land on opposite sides of Mars. The two landing sites were choosed because they might provide clues about past water activity on Mars. Previous missions to Mars has gathered evidence showing the presence of water on Mars in the past. Scientists are now hoping to learn how much water there was on the red planet and find out when it disappeared. All right, go ahead and pause your video here and make those corrections, please. Resume so that we can correct together afterwards. <clears throat> okay, I'm moving and shaking, so I am ready to correct with you. Uh, opportunity and Spirit, you'll notice that this is the name of a rover or a robot which was sent to Mars. And in the case of Spirit, it will need to be capitalized. However, for Opportunity, we're going to go ahead and underline it, just keeping or maintaining the consistency of what's happening. So Opportunity and Spirit are scheduled to land on opposite sides of Mars, period. The two landing sites were choosed or were chosen. So we're going to go ahead and change choosed, chosen. It's an irregular verb, chosen, because they might provide clues about past water activity on Mars. Mars is the name of a planet, so I'm going to go ahead and capitalize the one prior to it, which I neglected to do. I'm going to go ahead and capitalize the one that we just read. Previous missions to Mars, again, proper noun, let's go ahead and capitalize it, uh, has gathered or really have gathered evidence. So have, oops, have gathered evidence showing the presence. We're looking for the term presence, E-S-E-N-C-E, -E -E, the presence of water on Mars capital in the past. It's not an interrogative, it's a statement. So we're going to go ahead and get rid of that question mark and replace it with the period. Scientists are now hoping to learn how much water there was on the red planet and find out when it disappeared. Disappeared is misspelled. You're going to want that double consonant. So D-I-S-A-P-P-E-A-R-E-D. -E -E disappeared. All right, we're going to go ahead and conclude it there. Hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, please give it a like and subscribe if you'd like to continue to practice with me.